Hello and welcome to Pure and True Essentials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to handle undissolved lye. So I wanted to make a soap and I was in a hurry. I dumped my lye in the water. I did not stir it enough. I closed it and I left. So when I came back, I melted all my hard oil and I poured my lye in and that's when I saw the lye ring. It is like an ice cube. It's very thick at the bottom and it was very hard for me to get it out and finally I used a hammer to get it out and I used it and I made these soaps. So let me show you how I handle it so you can use it and it might be useful for you when you end up in this scenario. So without much delay, let's get started. I measured and melted my hard oils and I'm measuring my liquid oil. And now it's time to pour the lye in. And you can see as soon as I poured the lye, um, the hard oil started getting cloudy in the bottom. And after I dumped in all the water, I still felt the picture was heavy and that's when I noticed there was undissolved lye at the bottom of the picture. I was so disappointed. I didn't want this batch to go to waste. So I immediately went and got a spoon and a long stainless steel spatula to try to dig it out. It was not possible. I tried to break it. It was not possible. And I had to act real quick. So I used a hammer and a long knife to reach it and I put it on a countertop. And then I broke it into small chunks and added it to the uh, melted oils that I had and then I melted it and I needed some elbow grease to do this it was very hard and difficult for me to get it I tried to break the lye ice into small chunks so I can add it to the melted uh, oil and so it will be quickly melted so here I dumped in all the uh, broken uh, lye pieces and it got melted. It took around 10 to 15 minutes to melt it thoroughly. And once I knew it was all melted, then I used my stick blender to blend it and I got a medium tray it's pretty quick. But I was not worried about it because I was making a confetti soap and I needed a medium to a thick consistency. So I got what I needed, so I had to act quickly. So I got everything done without videotaping. So we'll see how it is in the unmolding video. And here, after 24 hours, you can see I was able to unmold it. Let's see whether it's gelled or how is it inside. I can see it's gelled um, th uh, through because uh, the red color is popping. And yes, it is gelled. The whole soap is gelled and the color is popping. I think I overdid with the color. But let's see how it turns out. It is really good. You can see that the color is bright because it's gelled thoroughly. And I really like the texture on top and I liked how the confetti turned out. Um, it's beautiful. I made this for Christmas and New Year giveaway for my family and friends. I'm very happy that I did not waste this batch because I already had poured half of the lye inside my melted oils. So I had to work very quickly. I didn't want to waste it. And I quickly thought of um, breaking the undersol lye and adding it into my uh, oils and melting it. And I didn't know it would work, but it did work. And it came out very beautiful. You can see the sweat on some of the soaps. It's because of the glycerin content in the soap. A closer look at the soap shows that it's gelled thoroughly and the red color is popping because it's gelled and you can see the top layer also has gelled and the cream color is no more. Uh, and you can also see the confetti has turned out uh, very pretty on the top layer. 
I hope this video will be useful for someone. And if you like what I'm doing, like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also visit my other social media platforms. See you next time. Bye.